Located right off the strip in the area known as Downtown, or Old Vegas, the remarkably basic 690-room Four Queens opens via wide entrances to Fremont Street Experience, a high-traffic Galleria tourist trap with a canopy of LED lights and vendors selling t-shirts and customized casino chips. Conventional wisdom holds that Downtown is for seniors and the Four Queens, in operation since 1966. Most guests have a simple need, an affordable room to sleep in between gambling sessions. In addition to the gaming floor, there are slot machines across from the front desk on the ground floor, which is lit by incandescent bulbs arranged in grid formations on the ceiling. On Fremont Street in Las Vegas' older downtown section, the Four Queens is surrounded by more densely arranged, smaller hotels than those typically found on the Strip. Guests are just across the street from the Golden Nugget, Binion's Gambling Hall, and the Fremont. With the exception of the Golden Nugget, which has spent more than a decade undergoing renovations, the Four Queens and its neighbors generally look like the 1960-70s relics they are. Most of the hotels towards the western end of Fremont Street, Four Queens included, offer immediate access to the Fremont Street Experience, a pedestrians-only street mall with a 90-foot-high canopy of LED lights. The 24-hour tourist attraction offers nightly light and sound shows as well as regular concerts. The rooms at the Four Queens start at 250 square feet. They are smaller than the rooms at many other downtown hotels and are significantly smaller than most hotel rooms on the Strip. Despite renovations throughout 2016 that added new bathrooms with walk-in showers, rooms still largely look dated. Beds come with comfortable pillow-top mattresses. Each room has a coffee maker, ironing equipment, and a flat-screen TV with 24 channels and pay-per-view movies. In-room Wi-Fi costs a daily fee. Bathrooms are smaller than those at the Golden Nugget, 40 square feet versus 54 square feet, and are bathed in cold fluorescent light with off-white countertops, toilets, tiling, and bathtubs, and generic toiletries. Rooms in the North Tower look directly at the Four Queens sign at the casino's entrance, as well as Fremont Hotel and Casino, Binion's Gambling Hall, and Fremont Street below. Those looking to avoid Fremont Street's nighttime noise should request a room in the hotel's South Tower. Higher floor rooms have wonderful mountain views. The casino floor takes up 32,000 square feet, in addition to slots, there are table games like blackjack, as well as kino, a sports book, roulette, and craps. The clientele, which tends to be an older crowd, gravitates toward the slot machines and video poker. Hugo's Cellar, the hotel's on-site steakhouse, is a delightful throwback to the pre-strip glory days of old Las Vegas. The downtown staple service is so doting, it borders on theatrical. Every table gets four servers, free Mountain Valley Spring bottled water, and a single rose for female guests. Its menu of ribeye steak, veal chop, and roasted duck, which is flambéed table side, is as timeless as its ambiance and decor. Picture Tiffany lamps, brick walls, wood beam ceiling, and a fireplace in the corner. All entrees come with salad, which is prepared table side. Hugo's wine list has more than 400 selections. Other options are limited. The casual Magnolia's Veranda, just off the casino floor, serves both American standards – hot and cold sandwiches, pizzas, burgers, steak and seafood – and Italian dishes – spaghetti and meatballs, lasagna. Chicago Brewing Company, a cigar lounge and sports bar where every flat-screen TV is tuned to sports, features in-house microbrews, thin crust and deep dish pizza, and standard pub fare. There is no buffet at the Four Queens, but there is a small fast food court with a dryer's ice cream, a Noble Roman's pizza, and a subway. The Four Queens isn't long on features. No fitness center, no spa, and no pool. Though, guests can use the pool at Binion's Gambling Hall for free. The hotel's lack of kid-friendly attractions and tiny rooms means it's not a place for families. If you want to find more about other hotels, resorts, things to do, or other locations, feel free to go through our channel. We would appreciate it if you could leave us a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.